to the Coldwater Elementary School. I notice all these awards are on top of the building that you enter. It's in practice. School of Character. A school of Excellence and the School of Clarification. Proud about our school. Proud about our community. Talk to you later. Day 16. Project Grad. this that the most beautiful place in the world was created uh, by God and it was actually called the Garden of Eden and if you translate the name Eden it actually means paradise so choosing the name paradise will only reflect uh, something beautiful and so that's why we call this project Project Paradise. How did Project Paradise come about? Um, about two years ago, our, our church collected gloves and hats for uh, Coldwater Elementary School. And um, when we went to go take the gloves and hats over to the school, we ran into the assistant principal, uh, Ms. Higgins, and um, she made a statement to me that really, really cut to the core of my heart. Uh, she just said to me, Pastor Pleasant, we need some help with our boys. Kids were out today, and I had some kids that were having a bad day, and they got a rake in their hand, <laughs> and their spirits changed. Wow! And you could just tell that they loved it. They were excited to see Pastor Pleasant. Wow! So what you all are doing here is a blessing to our students. It's just more than guarding day. They're being um able to feel like they're helpful to giving them some purpose mm. um, and, and and you if you could just see them we're gonna probably have to take a video if you could just see them they're working so hard yes they're not complaining at all uh -huh. and I'm so thankful and we have so many staff members here at Coldwater that appreciate you and what you're doing yeah. so I'm I'm excited oh she's busy I know she has to run but thank you and so the moment she said that we took a tour of the school and while we were touring the school, I, my eyes landed on the courtyard and the courtyard of the school was just blighted. Um, it was uh, full of leaves, broken limbs. It basically was a place that seemed like it was uh, uh, left unattended to for years. Um, but it is amazing because as I was looking at that courtyard, I was also seeing uh, beauty. I'm a firm believer that uh, we, be, we, are, we become a product of our environment. And uh, so I was inspired to create and design uh, this garden to be a place of beauty. Uh, so that our children that had the opportunity to work with us, as well as see the final results, can be inspired uh, to, make, to, to know that everything that uh, is in their life can be beautiful also. And even though it started off looking not so pretty, uh, the design, the inspiration of the design was to really give our children an opportunity to thrive in, in, in a beautiful atmosphere. They had a couple of nice trees there, uh, but you know what we did is that we put different uh, flowers there, we put different uh, shrubs and bushes in. What was so awesome is that the children had an opportunity to work with me and that was, that was inspirational to me to be able to work with those children and I was told by the staff that those children were upset when they could not come and work in the garden so you know this to, to, to just put the different uh, we put some little kims in there and put a lot of hostas in there and uh, um, just different assorted plants and patients 
Uh, we also put some vincas in. Uh, and so, um, you know, just the ver variety that we put in was just uh, allowing our children to see the different the different uh, plants and different trees and, and the different beauty that can they can display. We kind of set him in for installation. And he was willing. He's a busy a bit man. about what he's what he's seeing. Uh, Sister D, base Quiet space today. You know, I'll say this. I believe that as we were as we were working on this project, I believe the goal that I really desired for this project has already been accomplished. Every day I would go in there, different teachers would come and tell me their stories. They was, one of them uh, said, I've been there 18 years and I've never seen this place look like that. Uh, I would walk in the doors and everybody in the building just seemed to be electrified, just seemed to be encouraged. And you know, we're just coming out of this pandemic and People are still kind of leery, but Project Paradise has given people hope. It's inspired hope in people, and, and it's allowing people to take their minds off of what's been stressing us, what's been creating anxiety, what's been creating fear, and we're looking past that now, and we're living again. And so my ultimate goal is just for us to live again. So that when every time people look out in this garden, and, and most people are saying that it's a holy place, it's a peaceful place, it's a loving place. And that was my goal, to get this garden inside, inside people's hearts so that they can carry on with their lives and begin to tap into their creativity, they can begin to tap into their beauty. They can begin to tap into their ideals. Even before we finished and completed the job, some of the teachers before the summer school, uh, the summer vacation uh, uh, was on them, they actually were sitting in the garden and just at the desk, just taking it in. And I could just see their minds were, it, it seemed like everything in their minds were just kind of moving like wow this place is beautiful and and it just made them feel good about themselves and what they were doing so i did make it known to them i came over there to partner with them to help them carry on the work that they're doing with our children impacted you personally wow that's, that's an awesome question because it goes deep in, in my heart. I have been touched very deeply by this project. Uh, as I stated earlier, just working with these children and knowing that I'm able to share with them, knowing that their hearts are open to us, they can be vulnerable with us because they're safe. Uh, we look at our world today and you know, you got people going into school doing harm to children and so to be able to get next to them and I'm gonna have to pause it for a moment and just and just say thanks to Dr. Beckman and uh, uh, Assistant Principal Ms. Higgins. Uh, they have a powerful vision for cold water. They're, they're opening up the doors for the community to come in that will offer wholesome things for these children's lives. And today I'm, I'm, uh, I have the pleasure uh, of spending time with uh, the principal, uh, Dr. Beckman. And uh, he's going to him when I first met him because he has a great vision for this school. Not just for the school, he's a busy man and I got him cornered a little bit to be able to share it. Maybe he can kind of share a little bit about what he's, what he's seeing going on and even what he desires to have done uh, at this school. So I'm gonna turn it to you first. The, the, you all have been doing the hard work, you know, and I'm, I'm just coming I in. you got the blood, blood sweat, and tears how <laughs> hard work you've been doing, and we're so appreciative of it. Yeah, well, you know, but I have to say this, uh, you know, sometimes you go to the hospital, you see the doctors, they come in for a little bit and they leave, but the nurses do all the work. So I'm like a little doctor, I come in and do a little work, but you all have been doing uh, work all year. Going through the pandemic, you know, it was really tough, but you held your staff together. What are you feeling now? This is my second year at Coldwater. My first year, uh, unfortunately, with because of the pandemic, we were on a computer. 
And my first day as principal, instead of the hustle and bustle of the first day with kids everywhere and, and adults getting everything ready for the kids, it was the sound of phones and being in a Google Meet. Mm -hmm. And now once we started getting the kids back later in the year, it, it was just kind of sad to walk past this spot in the building and not see that color that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure as, as principal here that we had a, a place that we really take pride in. And I'm looking forward to this environment here being an, a sense of pride for the Coldwater community whenever it, whenever it is officially completed and for years to come. And I'm mm -hmm. so happy that we've been able to partner with Pastor Pleasant for the betterment of our community. And to see these children light up when they were digging holes and I was talking to them about soil and talking to them about how to plant a plant and, and how to do things right when we were laying out all the borders. We were just making sure that, you know, that the foundation in life has to be right and then you can build on that. So I've been impacted deeply and, and encouraged to keep moving forward. In, in, in doing what we can. Uh, I, I, we have an open door policy now with Cold Water School and uh, I'm, I'm like family over there and everybody smiles when we come in and I'm smiling when I come in also. So I, I've been impacted deeply to know that we can help children uh, have a brighter future, help children to shape their future uh, while, while they're young and then be able to talk with them I'll say this, and, and I'll be done. At the end, yet a few days ago, a young man who worked on a project with us, I had an outdoor prayer service, and I look up, and my wife is standing next to this young man, and the young man looked me looked me in the eyes, and he started coming towards us as Lady Pleasant was was bringing him to us, and uh, I could I could see his face, I saw his smile, and I said, "You're one of the children from Coldwater." And, and he said to me, yes, he has a huge smile on his face. And he comes up to me and he just hugs me. I mean, he just uh, almost like a bear hug. And it, it, he told my wife, this is my second time coming here and I want to come back again. And so just to see that, uh, to have relationships with children and they can be in a safe environment, it, it's priceless to me. So I, I, I'm tearing up in my heart because uh, I know that this is where my heart, this is where my heart's calling is, is to make a difference in our world. And, and we started with these children at Coldwater Elementary School. It's going. Oh, wow. Yeah, now we, we, we actually, and I hadn't stated this yet, but this, this job that I did over there, uh, I had a minority cert certified company, uh, an MBE certified, uh, a landscaping company and, and I worked for Amory UE as a contractor. I worked for Malacry as a contractor, one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in our St. Louis area. And um, you know, I sold all those uh, contracts off and uh, I moved away from landscaping, uh, kind of did things on, around my home. Uh, but you know, I had an opportunity to do this project, so I did it free. We, we didn't charge the school one penny everything and this is a good time for me to say thanks to uh frank from triple a building materials to say thanks to jack uh from uh Walboard nursery and sons and also thanks to linda from schrader uh schrader sod forms who donated the sod uh Walboard nursery donated the uh the plants and the flowers and the rocks was donated by Triple A Building Material. And so with that said, there were some items and material th and things that I had to go purchase and I purchased them on my own. And so anyone want to donate, we, we were offering this shirt that I have on Brighter Days Ahead. On the back of this shirt, it says from blight to bright. And that's what we're wanting to do. We want to make our community brighter. And we, may, and we make it brighter by rolling up our sleeves and, and just offering service to help make a difference in, in our communities. So uh, if you wanna do any type of donation, you can donate uh, to a cash app, dollar sign, capital P, capital N, L, C, C. So all caps, dollar sign, P, N, L, C, C, all caps. Or you can go to Giblify uh, and look up New Life Christian Church Florence in Missouri, you'll see my picture there. 
And uh, you can donate uh, right through our Givelify app. You know, you download the app. And whatever God put on your heart, it's just going to offset the expenses that we have invested in the school, uh, uh, Coldwater Elementary School. And in my closing, I do want to say this: is that we're not done yet. We we want to. I got a text uh, just yesterday from one of the staff members over at the school, and they were asking me about another elementary elementary school, Russell Elementary, and asked me, could we just come and assist? with some tree selection from for Russell Elementary School. So I believe that there will be a domino effect. And so as you give donations, it's gonna allow me to do more and more for each one of our schools. And I believe that when we do this, it's gonna lift the spirits of the staff of these schools. And they're already doing great jobs, but just a little push and a little bit of excitement and beauty, it all makes us feel good. And I believe when they go to work, they're gonna feel good to be able to see these wonderful courtyards that have been beautifully designed and put together, and then they can maintain them. Uh, Cold Water School has a garden club, so they're gonna be going out, and I'm right across the street from them, so if they need to call me and say, Pastor Pleasant, can you come over? I'll drop everything that I can just to be there for those children and to be there for cold water elementary staff. So we're hoping with all of our heart that our goal this year for our ministry is to give gloves to all 430 students at cold water. We want to give a hat to all 430 students at cold water. And then we're going to also do a couple of bikes, maybe five to 10 bicycles that we'll be able to give to the school that they can use as incentives uh, to encourage our children to continue, continue to do well. So this, I believe this is just a start of something awesome. And the message that we send is right on this shirt, brighter days ahead. With all the bad news we're hearing in our world today, there's some good news. And the good news is that we're not a horrible human race of people. We just need people to pitch in. We need fathers to pitch in. We need mothers. Well, mothers are doing a great job. We need fathers to pitch in. Our sons need us. So we want to be that example uh, in the schoolroom as well as in the home. But uh, my job is to come along, alongside of you all and to just help make a difference in our community. And that's falling right in line with the vision of Dr. Beckman and Assistant Principal, Mrs. Higgins. Hope is in the air because brighter days are ahead.